Have you been wondering how to make almond milk without a nut bag? It's way easier than you think, and today I'm gonna to share my process. My name is Amber Byers, and I am passionate about helping mamas to learn low-tax ways to take care of their family and their health. Today I'm going to share with you the recipe that I use as our base of almond milk and cashew milk that we use when we make our smoothies in the morning or for any of our recipes that call for milk. Be sure to hit subscribe and click the bell to be notified when new videos are posted and stick around to the end to learn how to get my beginner's guide to low tax living. Are you ready? Let's dive in. First of all, let's break down a few instances where choosing almond or cashew milk might be the better option. Some people are lactose intolerant or they have allergies to milk, so nut milk may be their best choice. One of the reasons we avoid it is because milk has the potential to be um, a builder up of mucus. So people with asthma and allergies might want to try and avoid it. My daughter, for example, had chronic hives a few years ago and we took her to the allergy doctor to have her tested to see if it was something that she was eating every day that um, was causing her to have the reaction. And when we were there, they made her take a couple puffs of their inhaler before they would continue the testing because they told us that her asthma was so bad. And she had never been diagnosed with asthma before that point. Um, and this was about halfway through the school year, so she was having milk every day at lunch. Um, and then fast forward to this summer, she went in for her sports physical and she was home all summer long and wasn't having milk daily. And um, the doctor that she saw asked us who told us that she had asthma because she didn't hear any evidence of it. Um, so when we got to the car, I was visiting with my daughter and I asked her why she thought the difference might be. And she gave me the answer that she thought it was because she wasn't having milk every day. Um, while she was home all summer long. So I thought that was pretty neat that my daughter was able to piece that together. Um, and for that reason, we avoid milk. One of the questions a lot of people ask is, is almond milk a good source of calcium? Almonds themselves are actually a pretty good source of calcium. They contain about 76 milligrams of calcium per ounce, while cashews only contain around 20 milligrams. It is worth noting that both almonds and cashews contain several other bone building nutrients, such as magnesium and phosphorus. Both nutrients are essential for strong bone and teeth, as well as maintaining healthy blood pressure and heart function. As for the almond milk, the calcium content is probably closer to 25 to 45 milligrams um, per ounce, while cow's milk typically has around 37 and a half grams per ounce. So they are pretty comparable. A couple other ingredients I like to add to my almond milk are dates and sesame seeds. So dates are a good source of carbohydrates and fiber, as well as vitamin B6, which is important for brain development and function. Dates are also a really great source of antioxidants, which help protect the body against cellular damage caused by free radicals. And then sesame seeds. That's something you might not have considered adding to your nut milks. Um, you can actually make just a sesame seed nut milk on its own, but the flavor is a little bit strong for my taste buds. So I prefer to add between a teaspoon to a tablespoon of sesame seeds per batch of nut milk. The sesame seeds are a really great source of protein, healthy fats, and fiber. They also contain several minerals, including calcium, iron, magnesium, and zinc. They have several health benefits, including to help reduce inflammation, supporting heart health, and improving brain function. I buy my raw almonds, cashews, and dates from a website called nuts.com. I purchase the five pound bags of the almonds and of the cashews and two or three of the one pound bags of dates and that usually lasts my family around two months. We typically make at least a two to three cup batch of nut milk each day for our smoothies and then we also use the um, nut milk as substitutions for any recipes that we use throughout the month that call for milk. So let's break down how to make almond or cashew milk without a nut bag. I have found that the key component to having a really smooth nut milk is actually the blender. I used to have a Ninja blender and it had three bags, but I had to use a nut bag to filter out the pulp. I upgraded to a Vitamix blender and I haven't ever looked back. It is so worth its money. Um, I've made a couple batches here and there and ran them through the nut bag just to see um, how it compared to my Vitamix blender and there were no um, visible signs of 
pulp left. So I'm going to break down now how I make my smoothie. All right, so here's my smoothie recipe. I add about one quarter to a third a cup of nuts per one cup of milk. So in today's smoothie, I add about three quarter cups of nuts to three cups of water. Then to that, I add one to two teaspoons of sesame seeds and three dates. If you are using this for cereal or something where you want the vanilla flavor, you can add a little bit of vanilla bean or a couple of drops of doTERRA's Madagascar vanilla. I blend it on high speed for 20 seconds, and yes, I count to 20 seconds in my head before shutting it off. Now that is my nut milk base. With the base, then to that I add two to three bananas. I also add a scoop of doTERRA's protein powder. I base whether I choose the chocolate or vanilla protein powder based on the fruit that I'm using for the day. For example, when I use tropical or lighter colored fruits like pineapple and peach, I like to use the vanilla. And for things like blueberry, strawberry, mixed berry or cherry, I like to add the chocolate powder. The final step before blending is to add the frozen fruit of choice for the day. I like mixing things up so that we don't burn out on the flavor since we do have this almost every day for our breakfast. I also like once in a while adding things like PB Fit powdered peanut butter, uh, but my kids don't really enjoy that, so I don't get to have it as often as I'd like. Uh, this is the breakfast we have about three to five days a week. I used to think that nourishing myself took too long, and so I would grab cereal and milk, but it took me only three and a half minutes to make this large smoothie from beginning to end that included making the nut milk from scratch and it is enough to feed myself and three of my kids. It has become a pretty seamless routine that's easy for us to stick to when we're home, and I feel really good knowing that we're nourishing our bodies right, especially in the morning. So as you can see, making nut milk from scratch is actually super simple. The investment in the right blender is a necessity, and make sure you're using high quality ingredients. Be sure to click the link below in my comments to get my beginner's guide to low-tox living, and we'll talk again next week. Take care of yourself, friends. Bye-bye.